far to the south, in the People's Stadium in Gurgio City, there is no time for gifts and greetings. Twelve-year-old Jin Yang is about to face the biggest test of her life. 132 young athletes from all over China have been gathered behind closed doors to face the toughest judges in the country. This is the first round of selection for the national gymnastics team and the 2008 Olympic squad. Jin Yang has been entered in four events. The horse, the floor, the beam, and the bars. Unknown to her, her father has also traveled over a thousand miles from their home in Beijing to be here. He cannot bear to miss this moment. She's really going to be feeling the pressure, more psychologically than physically. She's never competed at such a high level before. And she's never had to perform all four disciplines. But I think the psychological demand is much higher than the physical one. Jin Yang's coach has been working with her for three years. He knows just how much is at stake here. If she fails today, it could destroy her confidence, which will have a serious impact on her performance in the selection process. This is the moment Jin Yang will discover if she's got what it takes to compete on behalf of an entire nation. After two hours waiting on the floor, Jin Yang is called forward. She bows to the judges who will now decide her fate. Although she has no idea her father is here, he's nervously filming her every move. Jin Yang's first event is the horse. Speed, height, and grace in landing are what the judges are looking for. Her jump is perfect, but her landing is heavily faulted. Jin Yang launches immediately into her floor routine. She quickly finds her rhythm. Jin Yang's floor performance will earn an excellent score. But next is the beam. This is the one routine she has been dreading. Uh, but when I'm on the beam, it's like standing on the head of a nail or walking on springs. It's not that I'm bad. I just get really scared when I'm up there. The pressure begins to tell. On her first forward somersault, disaster strikes. Jin Yang climbs straight back onto the beam. She can't possibly give up now. But her concentration has been badly shaken.
It's a terrible performance that could seriously damage her chances of selection. But Jin Yang has one more opportunity to prove herself on the uneven bars. If she is to have any chance of getting through, she now has to produce a near perfect performance. Under huge pressure, she holds her nerve It's a superb performance. She did pretty well. Not bad at all. But after her earlier mistakes, there's no guarantee that this will be enough to see Xin Yang through. As the judges compile and compare everyone's results, she receives one small consolation. Yeah. <laughs> Neither her father nor her coach pull their punches. Xin Yang has to wait a full two hours before the judges have tallied all the scores. Pinned on a notice board in a back corridor are their final verdicts. Father and daughter have no idea what to expect. Xin Yang's performance on the bars has scored enough to put her through to the next round of selection. She is one step closer to her dream. stop thinking about the Olympics in 2008, especially the moment when I hold up the gold medal. Sometimes I get tears in my eyes when I think about it, but I know I'll have to take it one day at a time. For Jin Yang, a childhood sacrificed for a chance of Olympic glory is a price worth paying. If you just sit around, you won't get anywhere. Life won't give you a gold medal for nothing. 